Yeah, magic is imagination. Finding gold is magic. You go out in nature, you find gold, you're a rich man, so this is magic. This is all what America is about, you know. Finding gold in some place far away. So it's like heaven on earth. But what if, uh, what if something else other than gold was, was magic? No. Or was, was it something that, that was worth something? I mean, does it have to be gold? Is it only because it's worth something that it's magic? I mean, could you find a, a simple rock and have that be magic too? Or only to get rich? Yeah, if you're a monk, you know, but people are not monks. People are greedy. So, so the gold is far much more magic than a simple stone. It starts coming magic. When you get inside people's heads, let the guard down, and then the magic happens. Through the eyes of this worker, gold is magic. But now, since we are some steps away from this worker, gold is not magic anymore. It's just chicken shit. It's my first look in the West, you know. Yeah, the color is special. Electricity is not magic. I mean, it's you can uh, explain it scientifically, but in everyday sensations can be magic. It's just the work of your perception that is magic. You know? When you are able to see things, usually people do not see or just look over it. So every day's life can uh, become magic. So magic is to believe in something or to wish something very, to uh, and to get it, you know, because creativity is something you have to learn to to talk out of yourself. You know, it's personal. So. It, that what makes art different from anything else because it's like a personal uh, language you have to develop with your writing, your painting, your filmmaking, your singing, your dancing, or whatever. And a part of it is magic, but 90% is uh, hard work, you know. So the magic does not come out of heaven, it comes out of you.